Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold or resolve if you're having an issue where you're getting a pop up that says some drive is not accessible and the volume does not contain a recognizable file system. Please make sure that all required file system drives are loaded and that the volume is not corrupted. So, could be some different issues there. The first thing I would make sure is if there's any encryption processes in use, make sure you decrypt it. There's always an issue that if you have bidlock or something that could be a cause for it. And there's also a chance that the volume could actually be corrupt, in which case that this tutorial may or may not be able to work for you. However, it should hopefully be able to help recover it. However, some volumes are just perhaps so damaged it can't be recovered easily. So just want to put that out there. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And you're going to go ahead and start by opening up the start button. Just off click on the start button one time. Type in CMD. Best method should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and left click on yes. And in this elevate command line window, you want to go ahead and type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash. So again, SFC space forward slash scan now. Once you have it as it appears on my screen, you want to hit enter on your keyboard. It will begin running the system file checking utility. It will take some time to run, so just be patient. So hopefully this would have been able to resolve the problem. Restart your computer once it's done. It will take some time to run here. So it says there's one that's currently pending and will require reboot and complete. I've already initiated this one, so you should probably won't actually see that, but you will have to perhaps restart and run it again. And if you do see that, again, it's just the exact same command that I'm showing right here on the screen. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. Let it run, restart your computer once it's done, and I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.